Hey, it's Mitch doing the cruise November the 8th, 1971, the day Led Zeppelin IV was released. Now, I've maintained that 1971 is far and away the greatest year in the history of rock and roll with the plethora of incredible albums that came out that year. Stone's Sticky Fingers, Who's Next, Marvin Gaye's What's Going On, The Doors' L.A. Woman, Carol King Tapestry, The Allman Brothers Live at the Fillmore, Jethro Tull, Aqualung, Rod Stewart, Every Picture Tells a Story, and the list simply goes on and on and on. Zeppelin was determined to do something different for their fourth album after number three received lukewarm reviews, so they decided to put out an album without a title. We just happened to have a lot of faith in what we were doing, said Jimmy Page. In place of a title, Page decided each member could choose a personal emblem for the cover. Initially thinking of a single symbol, he then decided there could be four, with each member of the band choosing his own. The 19th century rustic oil painting on the front of the album was purchased by Robert Plant from an antique shop in Reading, Berkshire, England. I remember when it was released and we received copies, The album was really without flaw or weakness, and the reception from the audience was clear and explosive. During Led Zeppelin's tour of the United Kingdom in the winter of 71, shortly after the album's release, the symbols could be seen on the group's stage equipment. Page on one of his amplifiers, Bonham on his bass drum head, Jones on a covering for his Rhodes piano, and Plant on the side of a PA cabinet. The album's success speaks for itself, selling well over 37 million copies worldwide. 1971, a pretty good year.